What's going on? I'm packing Brendan's things. He's going back to Mum's for a while. Again? I get it now why you wanted to take him back to Mum's in the first place, and I think it's a good idea. But we just got back. How are we going to explain that? Oh, we'll just say you need to see his doctor. We'll figure out a feasible excuse. Look, I know it's not ideal, but Tony was talking about care facilities for Brendan, and it made me realise if someone finds out about this before we decide how to deal with it, a place like that might be where Brendan ends up. And that's what you want to avoid, isn't it? He's dressed. If someone just wants to help him with his shoes... Yeah, I'll go. You guys told you what's happening? It's the best option. For now, at least. Darling, I know you were trying to protect him. That doesn't mean what you did was right, but I do understand it. You love him. And I love you. What if Roman dies? Okay, I think we're ready. <laughs> Xavier comes too. Not this time, dude. Mum wants you all to herself. <laughs> Mama's Brennan Bears. <laughs> Come on, let's go, eh? See you soon, you big baboon. <laughs> You're some loser. I honestly didn't mean to upset you that badly. If anything I did or said was why you did that. Jeff, this isn't your fault. No, Bill, but I could have spoken to you. I mean, I saw you looking at me. It's OK, really. Rachel says you're going to go away to a clinic or something. Yeah, as soon as they can find a bed for me. I'm so sorry you guys got caught up in my problems. Not fair. All we care about is that you get better. We're here for you, whatever you need. Thanks, guys. Look, can someone tell Aiden what's happened? I, I really need to speak to him. What? He already knows. He was here earlier and he left once he heard that you were going to be OK. I, I still need to speak to him. They could, they could find me a bed in rehab as soon as tonight. I can't go without talking to him. Well, I've tried calling him and he's not answering his phone. I'm sorry, Belle, but I don't think that he's coming back. Tony and Rachel have just left for their honeymoon now that things have settled down a bit. I feel sorry for him, really, the way things have ended. Roman? Roman, Roman, Roman can you hear me? Hey, hey. Hello? Um, Julie, I think oh, Roman's waking up. Roman, it's Dr Young, OK? Just stay calm for me, mate. You've been in an accident, but you're at hospital and we're taking good care of you, OK? Can you squeeze my hand for me? Good man. Let's have a listen to his chest and we'll see if we can extubate him. <laughs> OK, take it easy, mate. Just breathe easy for me. Easy, mate. Easy, mate. You'll be right, mate. It all sounds good. Hey, to register and let them know that Roman's grand consciousness is breathing spontaneously. Okay, let's get this tube out. OK, now it's going to be a bit uncomfortable, but you're doing really well. OK. Now, just a little cough for me. little cough. Hey, well done, well done. Is he OK? Oh. Roman, Roman, it's late. Oh, yeah, I'm going to have to ask you to wait outside for yeah, me, sure. OK? Yeah, sure, I'll get a cough. OK. Roman, keeping your head still, I'm just going to shine a light in your eyes. I want you to follow the light with your eyes, OK? Roman, can you follow the light with your eyes for me? I can't see. OK, Roman, how many fingers am I holding up? Yeah, Bell's OK. That's great. No, 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 Roman. He's woken up. He's all right. Yeah, I just spoke to Leah and apparently he's up, he's talking. They've taken him off for some tests now, but he's out of the coma. That's awesome. Yeah, I know. I, I really need a shower. <laughs> Yeah. 
Yeah, hi. It's Davey Austin speaking. Can I please speak to Senior Constable Buckton? CT scan shows the swelling in your father's brain has mostly gone. He's showing good signs in terms of speech, movement, cognitive abilities. Oh, but there's something wrong. There's no way of knowing whether it's temporary or permanent, but it appears your father is blind. Next time on Home and Away. I believe your loss side is psychological. What are you saying? It's all in my head. I don't think you understand just how badly you broke my heart. I do, because I broke mine as well. Then of speak. It was Brendan. What you've known all this time and you didn't say anything. How could you be so gutless? Obviously, Brendan's not responsible for his actions. Am I not caring enough to understand that? I don't think we should be together anymore. Oh, I can see what you're doing. You're trying to push me away for my sake. We won't have another chance. I was offered a job today, and if I take it, I leave tomorrow.